afternoon, evening or night to all of you depending on your time. This is an introduction to the Laptop Liquid Loop project, project which I call the LLL. But first let me introduce myself. I am a student studying manufacturing engineering. I consider myself a PC enthusiast. I've built multiple um, liquid cooled PCs as a hobby using both soft and hard tubing. I personally don't own a computer though and that is because I travel quite a bit. However, I like gaming, so I own a gaming laptop, more specifically the ASUS GL502VS. And this is the main reason the LLL idea exists. The laptop specs are on the screen right now. As you can see, the specs are quite powerful. Yet the laptop itself isn't very thick for a gaming laptop. at 23 mm. This is very good for traveling, but not so good for thermals. The CPU easily hits 90 degrees um, Celsius when gaming and is often around 95-96 degrees. As most of you know, the safe temperature for a CPU is 92 degrees C. Beyond that, the CPU starts throttling and the life of the CPU starts decreasing. Before I talk more about the LLL, let me talk about the other less complicated solutions I've tried. I've tried using a cooling pad and that gave me a reduction of about 0 degrees. I've tried repasting using liquid metal multiple times and that gave me a reduction of about 0 degrees. The reason for the problem, I believe, is the size of the cooling solution implemented in the laptop. The heat is conducted from the die by the copper pipes into the, radi the two small radiators uh, that are in turn cooled by two small fans. The problem, I believe, is the radiator size. The reason why water cooling is so effective in PCs is the size of the radiators. They are really large and so the heat has a lot of surface area to spread over and the radiators can be cooled um, using large fans. Radiators and laptops, however, cannot be large for obvious reasons, so the heat doesn't have as much area to spread over and the fans cannot be large. I've measured the surface temperature of the copper pipes and that was about 80 degrees Celsius. That means the pipes store an insane amount of heat, heat that needs to be taken away, which the small rods and fans are incapable of doing. This is where the LLL comes in. The LLL is an attachment to, the, to a laptop. It consists of two basic parts, the LLL water block and the LLL box. The LLL water block is a custom self-made aluminum water block attached to the copper pipes via screws. Between the copper pipes and the aluminum water block there will be thermal pads to prevent galvanic corrosion. The restriction for the water block is that it should not add more than 15 mm to the thickness of the laptop's body, so the water block should not be over 15 mm thick. The LLL box will contain several cooling components and will be attached to the LLL water block using QDCs. This is so the LLL box can be easily detached if needed, for example when traveling. Let me tell you a little bit more about the LLL box. It will contain a 240mm aluminum radiator, two fans, a pump rest combo, a fan controller and a PSU to deliver power to the pump and the fan controller which will in turn deliver power to the fans. The casing for the LLL box will be made out of 2-3mm to um, aluminum plates. As you've probably noticed, pretty much all metals used in the LLL project will be aluminum. This is because one of the problems is weight reduction to an adequate number because um, I'll have to make sure that I can carry the LLL together with the laptop in one backpack and it's not too heavy. Another restriction is the size of the LLL box. It has to fit into a backpack made for 15.6 inch laptops um, together with the laptop of course. I'll be using my backpack for guidance. This is the end of the introduction to the LLL project. It probably won't go smoothly, projects never do. It may not work out at all at the end, but this is the only solution to the problem as far as I know, so it must be done. I hope you'll join me in this adventure and find out if the LLL works. Videos will appear at around 3 in the afternoon and days will depend on progress. 
thanks for watching, I hope to see you in the next part. However, I... Uh... 2,000 years later.